So the most common question that I get in PetSim99 is, DB, what's the best diamonds grinding method? And because the last video that I did was like many updates ago, a lot of people are just confused on what the best method is to get a lot of diamonds. Now there are tons of pay to win methods, obviously. We're not gonna cover any of those, but what about free to play players? So yes, team damage does make a huge difference. I got a ton of huges. I pretty much have a full team of huges and obviously a bunch of Titanics. But even if you use these guys, these uh, Dominus Hippo Melons, just a full team of those, you're gonna get about, 50% of what I get with all these guys. Okay. So you're going to get about 50% of diamonds. You're going to get 50% of probably loot, although maybe a little bit less loot than me, uh, because obviously these guys can break uh chests very quickly, but still it's a lot of loot, right? We're not going to go into some, uh, interesting methods for diamond flipping through crafting stuff. We're not really going to cover that in this video. I'm going to save that for a separate video. If you want to see that, just keep watching, make sure you like, and subscribe. So you don't miss out on that video. But today we're going to compare a bunch of different ways you can grind lots and lots of diamonds so the first method we're going to talk about which is the least effective is the diamond vip area a lot of people still think this is the best way and it isn't it's terrible first of all it's not free to play which is kind of a downer so a lot of people are like but i don't have vip it's okay you don't need vip because this area is dumb <laughs> you don't make many diamonds here the max amount of diamonds i can make in here are going to be about 11 million probably about 12 in the end and that's over a 24 hour span so don't bother in here unless you're trying to work on ranks so if you're working on the these things and they require you to do breakables. This is the best breakable area you can do for diamonds. The next one we're going to talk about is the daycare, right? So come on over here, this one right there. So I could claim this. In fact, um, I don't want to claim it yet. But no one's really going to AFK this. This is kind of one of those hard things to AFK all day. I would consider daycare supplemental to whatever you're doing. So if you're grinding, you know, diamonds inside the best area, maybe you're doing um, exclusive daycare, whatever. You could just combine daycare, the regular daycare with uh, just your normal grinding. Yeah, you'll get a lot, but you're not going to get massive, massive amounts. It's probably the least effective way to get lots and lots of diamonds. And of course, yeah, you could go over here and get your free forever pack. That's only like 25,000. Those are not methods for getting a lot of diamonds. We're not talking about the small stuff. Let's talk about the next one which is going to be over here in the final area this is the og of diamond grinding and it's not bad so if you were to try a build like this granted this is a very expensive build okay this is like crazy crazy expensive i've got a 1.5 billion there that's yeah this is this is a lot of money but if you were to take this approach and grind diamonds in the best area based on even variants of this even if i took out like chest mimic added another chest you know boss chest mimic added fortune any kind of changes that i would make here i ran multiple tests what i did find was that it didn't really make a huge difference i still make only about 500 diamonds per second which is pretty fast considering you know it's pretty fast but um per hour you're making about 1.8 million per day i can make about 43 million that means i'm literally just non-stop grinding in here so we're going to come back to a better method than this that will make you more than 45 million. And everyone's talking about this next way. Most uh, rich players are talking about this method, which is the exclusive daycare. With the exclusive daycare, you can enroll huges in Titanics. Now, this doesn't help you if you don't have huges or Titanics. Now, I'm here to tell you this is not the best way to make diamonds. It is one of the easier ways, especially if you have Titanics. If you have huges, it's a terrible way of making diamonds. I mean, they're free diamonds. But um, first of all, you have to have 10 slots. Let me go ahead and claim this. Here's the thing that I don't like about this is these do not make a whole lot of money, Um, in particular huges. So let me show you what huges can do. One of my best huges in here can do about, I think it was like 700,000 per day. Um, But most of these right here, these are cheaper ones. So of course they're not gonna be as much. So these only make 277 per day. Um, This one's 687,000 per day. And I've got some others in here that could do even more than that. Let's see, 727,000 right there. So. I think that's about like the peak. So say I had 10 of these, that's only 7.2 million per day off of huges. The other thing that's kind of crazy is you kind of have to pay to win to get all 10 slots, which is not that big of a deal. Like for me, I mean, there were 99 um, Robux per slot. That's not that bad for me. But the average player is probably not going to have access to this. And enrolling all your huges to remove that damage is just kind of an L to me. I don't I don't really like that. Um, so huges, kind of not the way to do it for this one. If you don't have Titanics, then it's definitely not worth it. Now, if you have Titanics, though, and especially if you have 10 Titanics, at least, it could be worth it. So let me show you what Titanics can do right here. This is going to give me 5.75 million per day. Just one Titanic. This one will give me 4.5. And what I found is I can um, have about 10 different Titanics above 4.5 million per day 
So like my love melon's doing 6.4 million per day, pretty good. And then um, most of these are like 5.75, 5.79, 5.72. And it depends on the rarity of the pet. And I believe how many exist. Um, so this one is 28 exists. It's a shiny. It, it's going to do 5.2 million. Now, if I average this down, I'm going to be making about 50 million gems per day, which is really good. But you have to have a lot of Titanics. Who's going to have that many Titanics? And compared to the majority of you who are watching, I guarantee you only a handful of you have have titanics so this part is not going to be for you for me it's pretty good but do i really want to sacrifice 10 of my titanics uh when i really want to be grinding no not likely so i don't really use this other than just putting some huges here and there like enrolling some of these huges doesn't really bother me and it's just free gems anyway but it's not that much enough for it to make it worth me coming over here and putting huges into the machine and having to manage it and take it out so i don't really do anything with the daycare so let's go over to my most favored method of grinding diamonds which i think is still the king in this game okay it's completely unconventional like a lot of people think okay i gotta I got to get diamonds, so I need to grind for diamonds. Now, let me show you the best method. So 12 hours ago, I moved everything over to one of my alts, and I started a grind without anything. I had zero gems. I had zero in my inventory. I'm just going to show you some uh, footage here, just showing you where I started, okay? So a lot of you are going to remember a video I did two months ago where I made 21 million diamonds in eight hours. And today, we're going to do something similar to that, and we're not going to make 21 million diamonds. We're going to make a whole lot more. And last night, I let this thing run for 12 hours, and I did make, uh, before I claimed that pet's gems, I was at, like, what, 10.4 million diamonds? That's just diamonds alone. That's just raw diamonds in 12 hours. That's not all the loot that we got. And I started, I kid you not, I started with zero loot, okay? The only things that I had were my enchants, which we're not going to sell any enchants, but I started with my enchants. But you saw I had like over 130 items. These are all from last night. So all of this, in those eight mini chests, all of this was from last night. 595 gift bags. I mean, we're going to open these alone. We're going to get a ton of diamonds. Um, I'm going to sell all the potions because why not? We got a lot of potions here. 1.7 million right there of cocktails. But yeah, we got a lot of loot and we got to go and sell it all. And we're going to see how much we can make. Uh, we got a lot of keys too. The only things I didn't uh, move was this guy. I did, obviously didn't get a mystery ticket overnight. And these are untradeable, so those don't count. So yeah, let's head over to the marketplace. We're going to go and sell everything. We're, we're going to see how many diamonds we can make. And we can pretty much double that to get an approximate of what you can make in 24 hours. And um, we're not going to sell any pets, obviously. But oh, you know, I meant to open these too. Let's go and open... I think I'm going to sell these just because they're 850,000 each. I don't think I'm going to get that much from it. We'll sell these. We'll sell those. But we're going to open these real quick. See how much we get. And remember, we have to subtract 1.3 million because I, I accidentally claimed that pet from the uh, daycare. So that's not the actual count. We'll, we'll get as accurate as we can. All right. Now we got to open the gift bags. Dude, this is crazy. Now, I think I should mention something. Um, if you're wondering why I didn't have as much loot as maybe you've had um, on your test, I didn't want to spoil this test, okay? I didn't use a single flag for this 12 hour uh, loot grind. Um, the last time I did this test, I used uh, exotic flags, which is the treasure flags, which are obviously going to give you a lot more loot. But that means you need a macro like alt account to give you those flags or have a friend auto, you know, and I didn't want to mix that in with this test. I, I want this to be the easiest way you can grind diamonds, not the hardest way, because not everyone has access to be able to do that. So if we subtract that 1.3 million, it looks like we're at 13 million point one, somewhere around there. So let's go and start listing stuff. Um, uh, we're going to list all of these chests for 850. Um, you know what? Let's just, just because a lot of people like say, well, DB, no one would have bought those if, you know, it's because you're a YouTuber. So we're going to underprice these things so that they're below REP. People will buy them. Let's get this one. We'll do this one for like 450 each. And we're going to sell everything. See, already bought. Yeah, they're buying them. Uh, these all do for like 19K each. Oh, wow. How did I get magic shards? That's crazy. Weird. Uh, we'll sell this for 20K. We'll sell these for 30K or 29K. We'll go a little less. These for four. Actually, we'll do 3.5K. We're just going to keep listing everything, dude. We'll go 9K. We'll go 1.8K. 
focused on everything right now. All these keys. You know, we should combine these. Let's combine them first. So let's combine all of our uppers. Um, uppers. One more. There we go. Saw so these. We'll do uh, 45k for those. These will go 39k. 500 for these. These will go 1k. Man, I could use all this stuff. Uh, these will go 69k. Boxes will go 500 because I don't think anyone wants those. Tokens will go 39k. All of these, um, we'll do like 300. Giving good deals today, dude. 300 for these. We'll go 400. We're already at 26 million. Uh, we'll go 200. If I was patient, dude, we could make so much more than this. These keys will go 19. These will go like four. Uh, we'll go 500. Dude, how many? How many did I? Have? Wow, I had a lot of those. Uh, these will go like 20 each. I don't know that anyone wants these. Wow, these are a lot. Um, we'll do like 5k for these. For these, we'll go 50. Wow, these are good. Um, let's do like seven. Uh, we'll go like 800 for these. Pinatas. Oh man, I, I kind of need to do a lot for these because people want them. We'll do 50. We'll do 55k. Still like over a thousand under each. These will go 1.5k. We'll go 700 for these. We'll go 7.5k for these. 50 for these. We'll go 50 for those. Um, we'll go 600 for the comets. There we go. We'll go 500 for these. We'll go like 20 for the flags. I don't know why anyone would want to buy these, but okay. 15 for these flags. We have a thousand of those. Uh, we'll go 15 for these. Um, these will go like. 4k uh we'll go 5k for these five for squeaky toys i guess Jeez. um these will go 4900 we'll go 6k for these five for these uh we'll do 10 for we'll go half off on the coin jars these will go five each these will go 50 each dude we got so much loot we're about to get through it all though 15 for these, pretty much half off. 15 for the bones, 119 each. So we'll go like 60, 100 each for the bananas. We'll go 40 for pineapples. Uh, we'll go 60 for these. There's only one each. Uh, we'll go one each then. Hopefully someone will buy them. And then, okay, so that's all of our regular miscellaneous. Now we got all the potions to do. We'll do these, we'll go, um, these should sell. So let's just do like 165K for each of these. And then these will go like 800. They have good discounts on the potions. We'll go like 900 for that one. 900. Uh, this one will go 1,000. All right, so this one's 4.5K. This is diamonds. Um, we'll go We'll go 4K. This one will go three. This one will go like 800. About to pass... Uh, 40 million, but we still got to subtract that stupid 1.3 mil. Um, we'll go 600. Someone's getting really lucky with their purchases right now. I was doing this all. Yeah, a bunch of people are buying them. All right, I got a lot of these. Oh my gosh, I have 11,000 of these. Uh, let's do like 60 each. There we go. Okay, these will go 60. And we got a bunch of these left. So we'll do like 30 for each of these. And we're not going to touch enchants, even though I can make so much more off of enchants. I just didn't want to bother and I wanted to keep them all. So we made a lot of new enchants, but uh, we're not going to bother with those. So let's see what we make. Let's see, are we, uh, we still have a little bit to sell. Let's see what they have and buy yet. So they don't really like these. So we're going to reduce the price on these due to like 30K. And then let's reduce the keys. They've been here for a moment. So we'll reduce those to like, say 3K. Get rid of those. I mean, everything here is under RAP. I don't know why these are so expensive though. Let me, um, let me reduce these. I don't know why speed potions are that price. Someone, someone must mess with them. 
We'll do like, uh, we'll do this for like 90. I think we can safely say we're about 42 million. Let's just subtract 2 million off of this just to be safe. We're at 42 million every 12 hours, which is going to be 84 million. That's a lot of gems, dude. If I did this formula, I could buy a huge every 24 hours, which is pretty crazy to think about. Yeah, this is a pretty good method. I think it's one of the best methods currently still in the game. A lot of people ask me at DV, like, what's the best grinding method? It's still loot grinding, dude. I mean, it's not as good as it was once before. So before, like when this update first came out with all the new loot, you'd be able to make so much money. And I'm telling you right now, if I were to run this test right after the next update, we'd be making big, big gems, like a lot of money because a lot of, you know, new items go for a lot more. And a lot of these uh, items prices have gone down because there's a lot of them inside the economy. So... This is still one of the best methods, in my opinion. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go and grab all my stuff back from my alt. Oh, man, it's nice to have all my stuff back. Anyway, I hope that was helpful to you. If it was, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know how much you make with this method. It's actually a lot of fun. Like, a lot of people don't realize how fun it is just to grind loot each night and then just go and sell it all and see how much money you make. Like, everyone's all about, like, grinding all these hard methods. And this is one of the easiest methods you could do as long as you can have an auto clicker. And by the way, if you don't have an auto clicker on a mobile device, definitely go check out the link in the description i'll link uh you know there's there is a little affiliate code on there so if you do buy it i do get a little percentage back okay from amazon just full disclosure but um it's pretty cool i have this and it works on all devices that are mobile it's pretty much like a little uh auto clicker but it's a physical product that you can attach to your phone and it auto clicks and you can leave it running just be careful not to overheat your phone maybe put a fan on it or just keep it cool because some screens get really really hot if you're um active all the time and especially on roblox i don't know why roblox is so intense but it is so maybe turn down your brightness as much as you can to cool down that screen but yeah it gets pretty hot i think it's like 20 bucks or something like that anyway thanks again for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace